After Effects folks, I've been asked to take a look at how to do this text effect where the text drops, fades in and the gap between the text closes as it drops. Okay, and I can do this with some animators. So let me just, I've got this text here. What I shall simply do is let's start from scratch. I'll just copy this text, uh, copy. And I'll just turn this layer off. So I can start a new text layer, just click here and paste. And I'll use the align window here. If you don't see that, you can go to window, align. I'll center that up. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I'll make it about the same length here. So just, uh, so about there, that's where. Okay, so what I'm gonna add to this is go to the animate menu. Okay, and I'm gonna animate two properties, the position and the opacity. So let's do the opacity first. So opacity, I'm going to add that. And I'm going to set the opacity to zero. And then I'm also going to animate the position. So we've got, and then I'm going to move the position up, maybe about, so it kind of sees top of the screen there. So maybe move it up about about 400 something like that 400 okay so you can see that our text has moved up and it's become invisible okay so what we're going to do is do a range selector on this so basically a range selector works anything that falls within the range is going to have the value of position minus 401 i've got there and opacity zero anything outside of the range selector will return to normal and there's another video on this channel explaining that in more detail but but if i open up my uh, range selector here what i'm going to do is set a keyframe here for the end at 100 percent and then just jump back to where i was and keyframe this back to zero so as i keyframe it back to zero all these letters fall in and the position changes okay but i don't want it to look like that i want it to look like i had before so by default the range selector is working on individual characters so if i go to the advanced tab and i'm going to change it from characters to lines okay so now the text falls in the gap closes and the text fades just with those two simple keyframes on the range selector. So what I'll do with those keyframes, I'll select them and I'll change the animation to easy ease just to make it look a little smoother. So now we've got this. Okay. There we go. And so that I don't have to, if I want to do this to more layers of text, so that I don't have to do this multiple times what I can do is go to animator one just select that I can go to animation and I'll save this as a preset I'll call it drop and fade okay drop and fade save that so if I go over to my effects and presets if I look in my user presets drop and fade so let's test it out Okay, so I'm going to go to text and do that. I'm going to paste the text again, line it up again. Okay, and then I'm going to go over to my presets. I'll drop this on. Hey, there we go. It does the same thing, it drops and fades. Okay, if I hit U, there's my keyframes. If I want to make it slower or faster, I can just change the keyframes for the range selector. I've still got I've still got the other one turned on, so I'll turn that off a sec. So you can, there we are. So I'm just seeing the top layer now. There we are, it's simple as that. And now I've got that saved as a preset. I can just go into my preset folder, apply it whenever I need. And if I want to go and tweak it, I can just open up my options here for the text, open advanced and play about but it's great to be able to save presets save you a lot of time applying similar animations to lots of layers so i hope that's helped and thanks for watching cheers